603 on breakfast television mounting trade tensions between Canada and the U.S. this morning. The American government announcing late last night it will impose duties of up to 24 percent on softwood lumber entering the U.S. from Canada. The softwood lumber industry has been a source of contention between the two nations for decades. American producers claim Canada subsidizes lumber because most of the timber is harvested on Crown land. But the, the Canadian government disagrees strongly with that, issuing a statement saying this decision will negatively affect workers on both sides of the border and will ultimately increase costs for American families who want to build or renovate homes. The new tariff comes as the Trump administration contemplates more changes to NAFTA. This is Rail Safety Week, an important reminder for everyone, including drivers and pedestrians near train tracks. We've been out watching some of the more dangerous crossings. People running the red lights. This was on McNaughton, east of Keel and Vaughan. Pedestrians saw several people scooting across the tracks as the railway crossing gates were coming down or still on their way up. Every year in Canada, there are about 300 collisions and cases of trespassing at railway crossings and along railway tracks, leading to death or serious injury of nearly 130 people. Metrolink is carrying out an emergency simulation at a rail crossing just north of Bradford this morning. We'll have more on this coming up a little later on BT. So if you're taking the Barry train down and see a whole bunch of police activity down uh, uh, just north of Bradford Station, that's the reason. Sir Elton John suffering from a potentially deadly bacterial infection, forcing him to cancel concerts in the U.S. The singer had violently sick at the end of a tour in South America last week, flown back to the U.K. for urgent treatment, spent two days in intensive care. As a result, nine concerts in Vegas and California are canceled over the next two weeks. The 70-year-old expected to make a full and complete recovery will resume his live performances when he's feeling better probably in June. Strong earthquake striking off the coast of Chile, but it didn't cause any serious damage as far as we can tell so far. Santiago rocked by the tremors. Some people sent scrambling out onto the streets. 6.9 magnitude quake hit about 35 kilometers west of the coastal city of Valparaiso. Uh, a quake of that magnitude, usually capable of causing severe damage. A brief tsunami warning was also issued, but cancelled shortly afterwards. In a bid to gain wider appeal, far-right French presidential candidate Marine Le Pen is stepping aside as leader of her National Front Party. This just a day after she and centrist Emmanuel Macron were reached the second round of the French election. Set for May the 7th, Le Pen says she needs to be above partisan considerations to bring the country together. Polls show her opponent is the favorite to win. Zero mention of Donald Trump by Barack Obama during the former president's first public appearance since leaving the White House. Thank you. Speaking to his students at the University of Chicago, Obama encouraged civic engagement and addressed the need to bridge political divides. Some lighthearted moments as well from Obama. He says, be careful when it comes to selfies. <laughs> the problem now is with the Internet, that past is always there. One way to think about it is just to own it. I mean, it is true that if you had pictures of everything I'd done when I was in high school, um, I probably wouldn't have been president of the United States. I would advise all of you to be a little more <laughs> circumspect about your selfies and uh, what, you, <laughs> what you take pictures of. Expect to hear more from Obama in the coming weeks. He has a number of speaking engagements set across the U.S. and Europe.